It's time for Rabbi Minkowitz's Weekly Torah Lesson, a place where life's most difficult questions are answered. Here with his spiritual perspective and insight, Rabbi Minkowitz. Welcome to this week's Torah Lesson. This week's Torah portion is Parshas Miketz. The question of the week is, how can we be inspired to make an impact on the world? So in this week's Torah portion, Parshas Miketz, we learn about the fulfillment of the uh, interpretation of the dreams that Joseph interpreted Pharaoh's dreams, that there was going to be a famine. And sure enough, as he predicted, this week's Torah portion tells us the way the years of plentiful were finished, and now the, year of, the years of famine started to begin. So the Torah tells us, the Mitzrayim now needed food. So they come running to Pari. We need food. So Pari says, why don't you go to Yosef? So the commentaries tell us, that they did go to Yosef all along. But Yosef said, you want food? No problem. You have to be circumcised. And they didn't want to. They refused. So they came to Pari. We, we don't want to listen to him. So Pari says, you have no choice. Because the fact is, he is a holy man. He's the one that predicted the famine. He's the one that taught us how to put away food so we'll have for the years of the famine. So we have no choice other than to listen to a godly man as Yosef. So the Rebbe brings out a phenomenal idea, and that is as follows. Amongst Jacob's sons, you had the, all the tribes, the 11 tribes, and you had Joseph. The 11 tribes, they were not involved in the world. They were taking care of the sheep. They were out there doing their own thing, meditating all day, and being busy with themselves and their family. Joseph, on the other hand, realizes a world, and there are people, and there are communities, and it's time to make an impact in the world. Yosef was not afraid from the world. He didn't run away from the world. He went, then he got involved in, in politics and in government, and he was here to help people. Not only did he help them physically, from God forbid, of being a famine and they wouldn't have what to eat, but more importantly, spiritually. He was a spiritual leader for them and inspired them to do godly and holy things up until inspiring them to circumcise. Shrebi says, here you see a powerful lesson in life from Joseph, how you don't have to be afraid from the world. On the contrary, be a godly person, be a spiritual person, and you'll be able to have a true impact on the world. So to answer the question, how can we be inspired to make an impact in the world? Just read about Joseph. Joseph was sold as a slave, but he was committed, he was passionate, and he lived a godly life, he remained loyal to God, and he was able to have a tremendous impact on Parai and all the Egyptians. This week's Torah lesson is dedicated to the memory of Baruch ben Aryeh Leib, and Shlomo ben Yosef. May their souls be elevated for the Torah we are studying in their memory. Thanks so much for joining us for our weekly Torah lesson. For more information about Chabad and a regular schedule of classes, please see our website.